Next up, we have Crooks Brothers, which was founded in the 1860s when Samuel Crooks first planted cane at Renshaw on the KwaZulu-Natal south coast. It produces a range of primary agricultural products. It has a market cap of 830 million rand, a price-to-earnings ratio of 17.8, and a dividend yield of 2.8%. Now, predominantly also sugar yes. cane, uh, but they do have a few other fruits yeah. and, and so on. It's got a decent board, a strong management team. It's been around forever. Um, I suppose on a smaller scale to the likes of Ilovo and Tongat. Mm. Um, I mean, if you're not you positive can't be, about those you can't ones, be positive, this one. Yeah. And in fact, when you look at their, at their trading statements, because they're all March year in, so they're all, they're all March, September reporting time periods. So they're all coming out with their results now. And I think Crooks has warned us that earnings are going to be down seriously. Mm. Whereas other companies say earnings are going to be down 15, 20%. Crooks has said earnings are going to be down significantly more than that. So this one, and considering it, it actually doesn't trade. It's very, yeah, very it's low trade. You can't be hot on this one, unfortunately. So it's not very liquid. It's yes. below a billion. It's, it's tough to, yeah. to be hot on companies. And you know, when, you look at, when you look at share prices and the share price shows you the Manhattan skyline, Let's automatically the you've got to there. worry about that. Yeah, you see. So that's also Lots of flat periods. Mm. You've, you've just got to be, as I'm always worried about companies with low liquidity because the time you come to want to sell and there's lots of other guys selling and there's no buyers, you know, you can be in a deep predicament. So, so certainly on this one, not hot. So not hot on that one. I agree with you. Um, in the short term, uh, what's, what could be a, a possible stimulant of the sugar price? Effectively, is it poor mostly supply coming yeah, from supply, Brazil? Yeah. It's poor agricultural position, uh, poor agricultural conditions in South America or in or in Cuba, mm. and the price will double. But whether that happens or not, of course, is completely unknown.